What's up everyone, Free to Play Gaming here. I'm just starting this game right now, so I want to record it and work through the tutorial with you guys. So they already explained this is your gold, these are your soul stones. Now they're explaining this is your soul list. Tap this button to view or sell your souls. Okay, so we're going to tap this here. By tapping on the expand button, you can increase the max number of souls that you can own. Okay wants you to do that? No. You can sell selected souls on the left. Okay. They want me to close this now. Okay, enter the adventurers in. Alright, so these are the different buildings. Wow, she's got some boobs. Oh good, you're up. This young lady brought you here. Only because I couldn't leave you there. You look like an alloon. What were you doing alone in the underground dungeon? I was on my way to the Dark Rift. Why, it's so dangerous and far. You must be out of your mind to go all that way alone without even binding a soul. I prefer to talk to souls, not bind them. Besides, I'm not bad with a sword. Please put your trust in your sword alone, and it's a matter of time before you lose your life. When a loons bind souls, they can borrow their power. And from the looks of it, you have a perfectly good soul. You'll realize soon enough that it's best to bind souls. Alright, so let's bind a soul here. It's early morning, sorry if I'm not uh, explaining this too well, I'm just kind of working through it. If you bind a soul to these slots, you can use the soul skill and ability points. Okay, let's see here. If you bind a soul to these slots, you can use a soul's ability points, but not its skill. Okay. So it looks like we can bind one soul. So it's telling me to click on this. Let's take a look at it. Inflict damage on one enemy. Recover 30% of the inflicted damage back in hit points. Okay. We'll bind this. Alright, so that made some things go up here. Wants me to close. Dryad has been bound. My loon, how are you feeling? Oh, it's the Dryad. Dryad! I regret that I was not bound and could not lend you my strength in your time of need. Didn't mean to worry you. I'm just not used to the idea of binding souls. Get used to getting help from souls. Your skills as a swordsman are sure to fall short. By binding strong souls, you can take your own power to the next level. But that doesn't mean you can slack off on your own training as an alloon. Well, I'm off. Wait. Okay, so we're going to leave the inn here. Follow Arlia into an adventure. Okay. This is exciting. Brand new game. Okay, level one. Zero of nine gold cups. So it looks like there's some achievements you can get from this. Okay, so I have 100 energy. 10 tanner. Basic attack and elements. Okay. Super easy, I'm sure. The first levels always are. How annoying you followed me. We just happen to be going in the same direction. Like I told you, I'm headed to the Dark Rift. Look, one hit from Minotan wiped you out. Are you sure you can handle going to the Dark Rift? If you're headed in the same direction, want to go together? I travel alone. Companions are so bothersome. I won't bother you. You're an odd one. Fine, if you can purify a Dark Spear, I'll consider it. Well, of course I can purify a Dark Spear. Who can't? Alright, select heroes. Okay, of course I only have one hero. Place heroes in desired formation. The front row will face the brunt of the attack. Okay, so that's a little different than Summoner's War there. Bring friends with you into battle. Okay, click the friends. Elria. Okay, that's the only friend I have. Put her in the front row also. Okay, stamina is needed in battle. 10 stamina. Well, that seems kind of steep for the very first level. And they're showing us a possible card we can get here. Lemoris. Alright. Okay, first battle. Monsters and heroes have elemental attributes. Okay, I think I know all about this. Alright, fire strong against earth. Oh, yeah, that's earth instead of wind. In Summoner's War, the yellow is wind. Fire, earth, oh, that's going to be confusing. That's going to screw me up. I wish these changed names. 
Fire strong against earth, earth is strong against wind. Uh, Alright, I'll try to remember that. Wind is strong against water, water is strong against fire. Heroes attack in a combination of four elements. Indeed. Tristram's earth attack will be strong against the wind monster. Kill all the monsters. Okay, so it's got a little green up icon, meaning... So this is the character that's selected right here. So here's the attack order, which is pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to attack the one that we are strong to kill. And now she is strong against the same one, so we're going to attack it again. And it didn't die. So close, though. Hit point absorption. Alright, we're going to save her normal skill. No reason to... Her uh, special skill. No reason to use that, I don't think. Alright. Just kill this guy. Alright. Battle 2. Okay, this guy's all alone. Well, let's see what this is. Inflicts. Let's use it. So that put continuous damage effects. So this is the icon for continuous damage effects. It's pretty cool. Alright, Earth Souls have been acquired. Win. Always win. An Earth Upgrade Book. We get some money. And I don't know what these are, but we... I like things. I like loot. Fifteen blessings. Oh, Oh, that's the experience. Okay, 60 out of 64 experience. Okay. Alright, back to town. Well, well, kid, not bad. So we're going to the Dark Rift together? I said I'd consider it. I haven't made up my mind yet. Now, it'll be a different story if you hire me officially in exchange for some gold. And okay, back to the end. Uh, looks like we gotta spend some gold to unlock her. Increases accuracy by 1%. Recruit Alria as a party member. Yep. Since it's in the tutorial, I have no choice. Glad you didn't skimp on the gold. Fine, I'll join you, but only to the Dark Rift. Okay. Sounds like the Dark Rift would be a long ways away, but maybe not. You don't seem the type to change your mind for money. Do you mind if I ask why you're traveling? My family was attacked years ago by the Tainted. I was the only survivor. I'm sorry. Hey, I don't need your pity. Don't look at me like that. Anyway, I'm just wandering and dealing with any of the tainted that I happen to meet. I get my revenge and earn money along the way. I'm killing two birds with one stone. Besides, I can't trust you to survive out there on your own. I'm not sure if you can go on an, an, on an adventure in your state. Is there a different way to become more powerful? You can become stronger by strengthening your souls. Yes, we've talked about this. Oh, strengthening the souls. Alright, let's upgrade them. This is a soul shrine. You can strengthen your soul here. Mary will help you unlock your soul's hidden potential. Mary, welcome to the soul shrine. You look very femmy. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. It doesn't take much effort to upgrade souls. Select a soul to upgrade, and then select another soul to use as material. Okay, so we're going to upgrade this one. You can use normal souls as material. Souls of the same element give more experience. Okay. Material souls give more experience. Okay. Also, we're using up two of them. We'll click the upgrade icon here. I wonder if I can skip this. Okay. Level 19. Cool. Wow, well, my souls become more powerful, Mary. Thank you for your help. In order to upgrade your souls, you should visit the Soul Shrine often. This is just like powering up your monsters and summoners war. Well, kinda. Before we head out to the Dark Rift, let me give you a gift. A gift? Let's just say I'm feeling charitable. Summon. This is a holy place where you can summon souls with soul stones, of course. I'll give you some soul stones just this once. Maybe if you bind strong souls, you can avoid getting taken out by Minotan in one hit. No? Okay, so she gave me 30 soul stones. I'm going to use those. Summon premium souls for 30. 
I'm sure this is a generic one, kind of like Summoner's War. Gremlin. So this is an Earth Gremlin. Inflict damage on one enemy and decrease attack by 50% for two turns. Okay. Got an achievement, it looked like, there. That popped up really quick. I think you've learned enough to not embarrass yourself while traveling. Thank you, I've learned so much from you. Let's go, I'm pumped up to get stronger real fast. Wow, you're in a real hurry. You have completed the tutorial. As a reward, you have received 10 soul stones in your mailbox. Level up your hero in adventure mode, enhance your soul in the soul shrine. Daily mission, okay. Well, we're free. We're free from the tutorial. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. Let's just go right in order here and see what kind of options we have. So we got our hive ID and stuff. and Music effects. I'm sorry that uh, I don't have music on this right now. Maybe I can turn that up. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not. But I'm sure this music is going to get uh, annoying to everybody. All in-game music eventually does. So the energy is refilling here. One every minute. That's cool. Okay, let's look at achievements here. Holy cow, there's a lot of achievements. A new companion, recruit a hero. I have 40 achievement points. Friend ranking system and overall ranking system. Wow, I'm already way behind in this game. Okay. Uh, inventory. Spirit. Material used to upgrade a guardian. I have no idea what that is yet. But I'm sure the tutorial is not over. Arena ticket. Ticket to enter the arena. Okay. That's it's, it's different. It's kind of like your arena invitations that refill over time in Summoner's War. You have received 10 soul stones as a reward for completing the tutorial. Okay. You have received 1,000 gold as a reward for completing the achievement. Nerve-wracking for summon, okay. You have received 7 soul stones as a reward for completing this achievement. Okay. Alright. Missions. Visit. I'm going to try to do these missions... Because that's usually a good way to first start playing these games. So visit Estor Oria. Okay, I can claim that. That's 100 gold. I did that. Win an adventure battle. Participate in an, in an arena battle. Upgrade a soul three times. Okay, this stuff's not really going to give you much except more gold, which I am i don't even know what to use it for yet. So let's go right to an, another adventure battle. Um, looks like this is... Uh, I don't know. Okay, so Area 1's the only one that's unlocked for me. So Normal Mode, Area 1. One, Baby Steps. So apparently that first one was just tutorial, and you can't redo that one. Okay, and here's two. Okay, that makes sense. So Rewards our entrance to the next level, it looks like, and Golden Experience. Well, hopefully we don't die. Hopefully we can uh, beat this without doing any extra leveling up. Yeah, that's the stage of the story. You can add extra heroes. So I have them. I don't have any more friends, but I recruited her. Okay, and I have 100 energy, so why not do this? What is this bind thing here? Oh, so you can uh, edit your heroes on the fly here. They both have a couple of skill cards here. Alright, I think we can do it. Should be able to. It's not complete. What does that mean? Battle item. I don't I don't have a battle item. And I don't think I can it's not telling me hero skills can be learned by changing the costume. But I I, I don't okay, let's change costume. I'm not going to be spending money on a costume right now. I'd, I'm not going to spend any of this stuff. When you reach level, Tristam purchase available and Tristam gold. So I don't have 60,000 gold right now, so I can't do that.
I'm just going to take a look here. So, oh, I could use this dude here. He's a three star. Offensive medicine. It's like danger. Oh, I so that's probably pretty good for that girl to have. But maybe I'm going to take this one. Inflict damage on one enemy and decrease attack by... F okay, and then what is my current one? I didn't even really read it. Inflict damage on one enemy, recover 30%. So, 101 attack and 512 hit points versus... Okay, so this guy's better. I think I'm just going to switch out to him right now. We'll test him out. Alright party is not complete. I don't know exactly what that means. Hopefully uh, I didn't miss a key step here. Okay, the beginning. We got a long way to go to the Dark Rift. What's your business there anyway? Don't, mis don't misunderstand. I don't really care. It's because of my father. Jocelyn suggested that I go to the Dark Rift. There might be souls there that remember my father. Jocelyn asked me to accompany Tristam. And I agreed since I am in Jocelyn's debt. It would be too difficult a journey for, for Tristam embark on alone. You must have had a very special relationship with your father. Not in particular. In fact, I barely remember his face. I was raised by my father's friend, Zanna. See, my father disappeared when I was little. What about your mother? My mother got sick and died when I was young, so you're going to the Dark Rift to find out about your father. Couldn't you just ask Xana, the lady, to tell you about him? She doesn't like to talk about my father. Seems rather reckless. Typical story going on here. Even if you do get to the Dark Rift, how are you going to find souls who remember him? I have this necklace that my father left me. It can call forth souls who knew my father. Drea says, I remember Jocelyn was very surprised when she saw your necklace, Tristam. It is hiding a tremendous power within. I can feel something, albeit faintly, something pulses within. I guess we'll find out as we unravel the secret behind the necklace. How about we stop chatting up a storm and take care of these monsters over there? Yes, please. Okay, first real battle. I... This has a three turn cooldown, so I'm just going to use it. I'm going to get some continuous damage on these monsters here. Why not? That's going to help. And this has a two turn cooldown. So let's try to focus who we are strong against. This is the green arrow here. So that was good. Decreased their defense. So they're taking 100 points of continuous damage every turn. All right, he missed. So let's just attack him because we're strong against him. Let's finish him off. Get rid of one of these monsters. All right. And then I think we're just going to focus these down. No big deal. Let's test out this auto here. Oh, come on. You're not even focusing. All right. I'm going to take the auto off. Second battle. Looks like pretty much the same thing we were doing before. Our hit points don't increase, unlike Summoner's War. Ooh. Okay. Between battles, in Summoner's War you get like 20 or 25% of your hit points back in between battles each time. Doesn't look like that is the case here. Oh, this is the last battle of this level. So definitely kill that guy. Let's auto this. I, I don't think we're going to have any problems here. Auto 2x. Oh, those are your only options. Either auto or two times as fast. You don't have a three times as fast for this game. But it seems to be playing well. It doesn't uh it doesn't have any slowdown that I can detect here, so I'm very thankful for that. Okay, so we beat that. Level up. Alright. Do -ba -de do 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 clear chapter one. Thirty achievement points. Okay, let's go back to town and see if anything is new here. So there's a two here. Okay, we got a mailbox item. Claim this achievement reward. 
why not? Inventory. We have more spirit material. Let's use this, see what happens. Your hero's level is too low. Okay. Rewatch. Oh, meh. Who wants to rewatch getting those achievements? That's probably not exciting at all. As long as you have soul stones, you'll, you're always welcome here. Oh, of course. But I'm a free to play gamer, so am I still welcome? <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to click here and see what cards I have. Enhance. I have an enhanced stone. I don't know what that is, but maybe we can use it to power up one of our other monster cards here, so. Let's try that. Let's do that. Oh, wait, I think I clicked the wrong thing. Gotta pay good heroes with soul stones, so start saving up. That's nice. How much do these guys cost? A hundred. Hey, he only costs a hundred. I gotta recruit this dude. Two one adventuring Gerard. Oh, he's part of the story quest, so I have to gotta play that some more before I can do that. Oh, okay, we got one free daily one here. Okay, and we have friend points. I don't know exactly what that is, but we're gonna use our free daily. Come on, big money, no whammies. It says one star. Uh, that's pretty junky. Again, one. No, I'm not going to spend a soul stone to do that again. Okay, so it looks like I have 200 friend points, and I can use those to get one to three star monsters. Or if I want to spend stones, I can get two to six star monsters. So I'm going to use my friend points here. Why not? At least we got a two star, right? That's better than a three star earthquake. Inflicts 30% of the attack and damage on all enemies, causing an earthquake and stuns all enemies. Ooh. I do like my stuns. 20% chance to stun all enemies. Cool down six turns. Okay. So let's come to our souls here. See if we can enhance something. As souls develop, their abilities are awakened. So I'm using this guy right now, which might not be the best choice, but whatever. I don't think it really matters too much in this game. Er. Okay. I have to clear level 5 before I can look at any of this other stuff. So this is a level 1. I, I don't think... I'm not too concerned about losing this guy. 300 will be added to the fire attack cooldown. Fire shout. How much is this going to level this guy up? Not a lot. So I'm not even going to waste this. Okay. Let's just do another adventure, I guess. Wait a second. Let's take a closer look here at what's available to us. We got some events here. This is. They want us to spend more money. First time buyer package. Yeah, this game might not be too good for free to play players, but uh, we'll see. I'm not leaving Summoner's War. I'm just. Just gonna play this game alongside and kind of compare it and. See what I think. If it's way better for a free to play player, maybe I'll play it. During an adventure, heroes acquire experience 1.5 times. Okay, so this is a perk that everybody's getting right now. So that's cool. I don't know. This probably takes you to... I'll click it. This probably takes you to Google Play Achievements. Okay, so I, I don't really want that. Let's take a look at the chat area here. So we got Guild Chat, and we got uh, Channel Chat. So this looks very similar to Summoner's War. I'm not seeing any increased... Anything much better with this chat system. It's probably Hive specific. Failed to connect to chat server. Alright, whatever. Everyone is welcome. Alright. We didn't really look at these things. The shop. Wait, did I give you your change? This doesn't seem to be right. So you can buy some items here for soul stones. You can buy soul stones, yes. You can buy gold with soul stones. Oops. 
It's essential for a loon to be able to judge good battle items, don't you think? Uh -huh. You can trade. These are probably from Arena, is my guess. For other things. Six star summoning scroll. That's cool. I wonder how long it takes to get 900 of these suckers. Probably a very long time. So I'm seeing a lot of similarities between Summoner's War with this stuff. Okay, so lots of experience boosters and things you can buy. I'm not liking this. I'm kind of thinking they're, uh, they're after a lot more money with this game than with Summoner's War for us free-to-play gamers. We'll see. I'm not, I'm not quitting on this game yet, that's for sure. It might totally be worth it. Okay, the Tainted Plan appears. Let's do this battle 2-1. 2-1-2. Oh, Alright, I don't think I have anything to change on my inventory. Okay, clear without any deaths. You get an achievement point, it looks like here. So these are some of the different things you can do to get achievements in the levels themselves. So that's interesting. So I wonder what the max level is for my three star guy, or or that two star that's on her. Okay, I got this on auto right now. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. We'll see. We'll see, because maybe this is just easy enough. I don't really have to worry right now. Okay. All right. No, that was stupid of that person to do. All right. I shouldn't have this on auto. They're not doing too much damage to me right now, though. Okay, this is the last battle, so I should be able to beat this. I don't expect too much difficulty. I'm going to focus this guy. Yeah, they're not doing too much damage to me, so... Back to auto. Get her done. Kill it. Kill with fire. Whammo. Okay, so... Yeah, the auto attack, she shouldn't have attacked that one because he had continuous damage, which would have killed him. He was under 100 hit points. Clear without any deaths. Okay, so I got that achievement. Oh, wow, I got some cards here. That's awesome. Starting to get some stuff. All right, level up, level up. Okay, well, let's go back to town and see if anything changed. Maybe we can use these cards. Uh, we're right around 30 minutes, guys, so this is the start of this game. If you guys enjoyed this video, um, if you guys had nothing better to do than watch this video and just play games yourself, some people really like, like doing that. So I know my videos aren't the most exciting. Some of them are, some of them aren't. But this is just general gameplay. This is me observing the game. So thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, I hope to see some of you guys in this game, guys and gals. And uh, I'm not going to quit Summoner's War, so... Don't get all disappointed because you're seeing this video. I'll actually probably do a Summoner's War video here very soon. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Look, I already have full energy again. Every time you level up, looks like you're getting energy. So maybe I'm just going to try to get through a whole bunch of levels in this game, and then I'll know a lot more about it, and I can explain that stuff to you guys and gals. So take care. Thanks for all your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, Free-to-play gaming out.